Okay, a set of Corsa, real-time green screen. This is an absolute nightmare to set up. So in this recording, I'm having to use the headset because my genius idea of putting a big old green screen here, I can't see my screen. So I'm going back and forth into OBS trying to eyeball the position. I'm using Reality Mixer now. So instead of modifying the game steering wheel, I've now used Reality Mixer overlay in Steam with a new beta update that allows you to position one big box of color in Steam VR 3D space. So I'm using that to basically give me a, a blue box. And then going into OBS with Open VR Capture and having a small window for the Open VR Capture, that will obviously display the blue box that the plugin uh, Reality Mixer is displaying. I'm then keying that out. And then for the um, headset feed, I'm trying to go from HDMI out of the Pico, so it's what I see, which is my realistic world, and then putting a green screen effect on that feed. So this is incredibly complicated. It's probably easier with two people, one to sit in a headset and just position the person on the computer to sort OBS and get everything to line up um, and sync up. So this idea is for live streaming mixed reality because I've not seen that done. So in this example, this is not going to be perfect. Um, I know that for a fact. So I'm, I've got a small window of green screen for realistic hands here. I can put my hand to the corner. You won't see it, but in realis realistic terms, I don't really want that. I just want the steering wheel and the shift air handbrake. And then everything else in the game world should blend. The, the merge isn't going to be great now because, again, this is going to be way off in OBS. But you can still use this example if you wanted to use video editing where you take the recording from the Pico headset, which is going to show you the pass-through view, and then just do a game capture while you do the same race, basically. So record on your headset, record on the computer, and then you can mash the two together and take out the footage of the green that you, well, not that you see, that I see um, in front of me. So this isn't brilliant for racing. It's not as neat as my other solution because that only replaced the steering wheel. Um, whereas this is giving me one big box of, uh, of an overlay. And that's obviously ob obscuring my vision um, to, the, to the game world, if that makes sense. So... Um, I think the, the better solution for me is sticking to modifying the actual cars in a set of Corsa because I can just do the controls. Obviously, this is a, a left-hand drive, but if I had a right-hand drive, I can position my things where I want them. Um, but yeah, this is one other solution that should allow live streaming of mixed reality. So if anyone's got the balls to do this, you need a Pico 4, you need a USB-C extension cable, you need a dock that's got HDMI out. You might as well grab one with Ethernet if you can, um, and a USB. So, yeah, once you've got the HDMI out from the Pico 4, you then go into a USB capture card into your PC. So instead of recording on the headset or casting from the headset, there's no system load. You just have a, a wired feed of what you see going into a capture card. And then, yeah, from Steam VR side, you need a uh, reality mixer which has got the, the new beta update and you need to make sure that's um, selected in properties for that. So reality mixer, which will then give you a big old square, color square, and then use virtual desktop to then mask out the color. So very, very long way around. Um, it is possible. I know it's possible, but this is breaking me being on my own here, not having a, a desktop screen and having to go back into virtual desktop, OBS, alt tabs, I've even used my uh, Logitech keyboard for once and never used a wireless keyboard. So this is possible. It's just an absolute ball ache. So with any luck, I can nail this down and get a better solution. But for me, just to make a video, I can very easily just use the headset in, in headset recording and then sync it up in a video edit later on rather than trying to do everything at once through OBS. So yeah, this is it. I'll go for a little drive. It's not going to be anywhere near, but... Ooh, if I click escape, not going to be anywhere near the actual um, lineup of the visuals, and you're going to see a hard edge. I don't, I don't know what I've done with Reality Mix. You can tell I'm just haphazardly trying my luck um, with 
trying to get this setup working. So there's going to be a blue outline with a, I think I've got two overlays instead of one. Um, and that box isn't the same angle. So I forgot to turn off the, um, the blue outer feather edge. Um, but yeah, once, once it's up and running, I mean, this should be a viable option for mixed reality live streaming. Um, without having a camera, I've not got a camera on my face. I've got this green screen in front of me now, but that's only as wide as my will stand. So I can still look around in the in the game world and my real hands be in the right place, but I can't move my hand too far away from the window that I'm capturing. So I can get my controls done, but unless you want a big old green screen all the way around you, um, this solution is sort of a temporary measure, but it does allow live streaming without the ball ache of getting all the cameras synced up. Um, because that's only available through editing later on to get your wheel position, to get your uh, car position, all the rest of it. So, yeah, this could work, but I don't know if I'm going to get it going. So this is the third iteration. Now the second one's the best. Um, third iteration, and this should be good. Well, the best solution for content for people watching the live stream. This isn't good for me because all I see is a big old green wall. You're not going to see that in this. I see a big old green wall, I see my real steering wheel, but I have to poke over the screen wall um, in this overlay to see the actual track. So yeah, my second solution is best for me to actually view my steering wheel and stuff um, without breaking my immersion. This is breaking the immersion, but it should allow better content creation. So yeah, the things you do for videos. So this is it. This is the new stupid idea. I'll see if I can nail it down. If I can, I get a video up, but I think this is going to give me no end of grief trying to do it on my own um, and I don't really have anyone that's clued up to use OBS uh, or able to help me put on a headset while I try OBS so this is an option if someone else can get this working I'm really interested to see the results but this is uh, it's a very very stupid idea <laughs> so good luck cheers guys